In this video, we are going to look at a javelin flow using some selenium actions. And so the prerequisites for creating this flow will be having CA TDM 3.2 or later, and also having uh, up-to-date selenium drivers. And so if you're having this problem where you can't uh, open your web browser in javelin, then it's likely that the issue can be resolved by following this link on the slide. And so we move to the task. And so the task is to uh, use the Selenium driver in Javelin and navigate to the Google homepage. And then in the search bar, search for CA Technologies, uh, click the search button, and then we'll pull out the page title. And then we'll compare this page title with what we think should have been pulled out. So here is our Javelin flow. And before running the flow, I will quickly move through all the different actions that are used in the flow and explain what each of them does. So from the start node, the first action is this open Firefox action, and this can be created from this open browser action here in the Selenium toolbox. And what this does is it uh, fires up a web driver and navigates to a web page, pretty standard Selenium stuff. And so you need to define the web page that it's going to navigate to. And you do this in this properties pane here in the URL field. And so in this case, I've chosen to navigate to the Google home page. And the next action in the flow is this find element by name action. And you can create this from this action here in the toolbox. And there are a number of property values that have been defined for this find element by name. So if we take a look in the properties pane here, and we look at this field here, so this control name field, you'll see that we've inputted Q. And if you go and inspect the Google search bar, you'll find in fact that it has a name Q, which is why we've done it here. And this action also outputs to an iWeb element object. And if we look in the variables pane here and look at this uh, variable input element we'll see that it has a type i web element and you'll see in this out element field we've also defined or we've used this input element variable the next action is an invoke method action and so you can create this action from here in the primitives drop down and so in this uh, invoke method action we've uh, defined a target object that we're going to perform our method on and so this is this input element uh, we spoke about in this action and the method we're going to perform on it is the send keys method. So this is a standard Selenium method and you can parameterize this method. And so if we look in the properties toolbar here, you'll see that we have defined a parameter here. So an input parameter, uh, it's a string with a value CA technologies. So the next action performs the Google search. And so this is a click search button action. And if you go onto the toolbar, you'll find it here. And if, again, if you inspect the Google search bar, you'll find that it has a name BTNG. And then after this, we apply a small delay to allow the web driver to update. So this delay action is found here on the toolbar. After this, we then apply a web page info action. And so this one comes from here. And what this does is it uh, finds the web page and outputs the title, the web page title, to some variable here page title and if you look in the variables pane you'll see that we've defined a string page title and so we apply another short delay here and then we hit this decision decision block and this can be found in the control flow toolbox and what this decision block does is it has a condition here that it uh, tests and it either outputs true or false based on whether the condition is met or it isn't met and in this case, we are comparing this page title expected variable here. So in the variables pane, we've created a variable names page title accepted, and it's a string and it has some value, CA Technologies Google Search. So this is what we expect the page title to be. And we compare this with the variable page title that we've just created to be used in this page info action. And so it's at this point that the flow splits. And if the condition is true, then we move down to this Selenium flow end action. So this can be created here. And what this does is it kills our driver. And then the final action comes from this log action here. And so we've created, essentially, we're going to output a message to the log. 
which can be found here when we run our flow and we need to define the message that we're going to output and so in this message to log field here we've got a message flow completed successfully conversely if the condition is found to be false then we also exit the flow but then we output this uh, exception here so this is this exit node so this will kill the javelin flow but also as well it will output an exception to the log and the exception we've chosen here in this reason field is that the page title doesn't ex match which is what we're testing and so now we run the javelin flow and you'll see that the firefox driver has opened and we've searched as we were meant to ca technologies so let's move quickly back to javelin and if we look at our log we see we have this message here flow completed successfully